the dismal jobs numbers just out, leading to new worries about the strength of the recovery. Our weekend anchor, Bianca Rodriguez, here, and also Jake Tapper to talk about all of this. And Bianca, let's begin with you first. Not good. Not good. Ugly across the board, Robin. We expected better numbers for let's the month of May. Instead, we saw 54,000 jobs added last month. The unemployment rate actually ticked up to 9.1 percent. Now, economists were hoping for 190,000 jobs added last month. The unemployment rate to go down to 8.9 percent. That didn't happen. But we did get an early warning from a private job provider yesterday saying that they only expected 38,000 jobs to have been added. Well, you know, there have been three months of seeing some, some improvement, and then this happens. And there's a lot of concern, as you know, right now, Bianca. People want to know, is it, a, is it a blip on the radar screen, or is it possibly leading to something much worse? Yeah, could it be a double dip? It's too early to say that, even though we had negative news across the board with other economic reports earlier this week. We do know of a double dip in the housing market. Uh, as of right now, now that we're talking about energy prices, Japan being a big factor in that decline last month. But, of course, our allies are going to be what happens this summer, as especially with that debt ceiling, and we know that's going to be the big issue coming up. George? Okay, Bianca, thanks very much.